thunderstorms across the region and more changes are coming our way. It was kind of one of those dreary stay home kind of days, Joe, but, but we're here. <laughs> uh, that's right. At least it's uh, not as hot as it used to be. Uh, we have temperatures in the upper 80s to the low 90s over the past several days. Right now, we're in the mid 70s. I've been looking at this camera and we're getting a couple of showers around, but they're very broken up over the city. Here's a look at radar. Very spotty showers across the area. A little bit stronger cell over here. An hour ago, we had a nice line of showers and thunderstorms backing up over here, and now that's pushing to the east. And there you have it uh, a weakening area of showers over the next hour or two. But by tomorrow, severe storms will be over eastern parts of the state. That's going to be a high burn scar threat across northern parts of New Mexico as well tonight and likely again tomorrow. And then drier air will be moving in on Wednesday. Here's a look at this low pressure system. It's picking up some tropical moisture and as this advances to the east, we're going to get more of these impulses riding across, which will increase the showers and storms in some areas. As you can see tomorrow, the input will be especially from the central mountain chain on into eastern parts of the state. So that's the biggest concern right there with strong winds, the potential for hail. Uh, this flash flood watch in effect across the northern burn scars in effect until 6 o'clock in the morning. It could get issued again for tomorrow, but uh, here's your forecast for tomorrow. Breezy in the afternoon, no doubt. Some showers and thunderstorms around for the first half of the day. Then the drier air works in and winds get on the increase a bit and it will be warm, but it will be drier air working in from the west. Okay, for tonight, a few showers and thunderstorms continuing across northern parts of New Mexico. That's 7 o'clock in the morning with some lingering showers there. As we advance through the morning hours, see around 10 o'clock in the morning, there could be a few showers or thunderstorms clipping the area, but it really gets stronger as we work in toward noon. You see these thunderstorms across the central mountain chain, then that works in an easterly direction, and some of these could be strong to severe with large hail and potentially damaging winds in this area in the green, especially from the central mountain chain eastward. And as we go into the following day, look at the dry skies taking over, temperatures in the 70s and 80s, but uh, still hot over southeastern parts of New Mexico. Four Corners region forecast checks out like this. Uh, we're going to have dry skies across the area. There will be some showers and thunderstorms, but mainly in the mornings. And look at the fall conditions with those overnight lows in the 40s, daytime highs warming into the 80s with dry skies throughout the region. It will be uh, pleasant in the afternoon for tomorrow. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s over the next several days in Silver City with lots of sunshine. Great spring weather to uh, get outside. 76 is what's expected as we go into the Ruidoso area. 88, so still quite warm southeastern parts of New Mexico. Now, some of these storms could be strong over eastern parts of the state, then the drier air takes over, and then more showers and thunderstorms could back in from Texas with that dry line working into the area. So, showers and thunderstorms on a little bit of an uptake over there. Northern, northeastern parts of New Mexico will have those showers and thunderstorms. They could be strong rolling off the central mountain chain on into the east. It dries out for a couple of days before it picks up again as we get later into the forecast period. Showers and thunderstorms will be working around really for the first half of the day around uh, the Santa Fe area. Some of these could be strong, but as we get into the late afternoon, drier air will be taken over. And look at these lows in the 40s and 50s with temperatures in the 70s and 80s. So a very pleasant trend will be taking shape and we're going to have that uh, refreshing morning. There could be a couple showers and thunderstorms around for the first part of the day before things dry out later on. And then back to sunshine, refreshing mornings with temperatures in the 50s and daytime highs in the lower to middle 80s for Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, Friday, and we get into the upcoming weekend, a little bit breezy in the afternoon, and fall officially begins at 6.43 in the morning on Sunday. So after this uh, heat wave we've had, we're in for some more impressively cooler fall temperatures. Alrighty. Let's